Hello everyone, this is Pritam Shah and welcome to my YouTube channel Cognitive Coder. So today we'll see one interview question for the data engineering profile from IBM. Okay, so in their first round, what kind of question they used to ask? So that uh, that question type we will see. Okay, basically this question I got from one LinkedIn post. Okay, that's why uh, I'm giving it to uh, here okay uh, solving it on my way okay so we'll uh, we'll solve it in PySpark also and also in SQL okay so stay tuned and without skipping see the video okay so before going to the main video part I'll try uh, I'll introduce my YouTube channel cognitive coder as you all know we used to upload data engineering stuff okay so all kind of data engineering coaching scenario based question uh, what kind of scenario question uh, in companies used to ask okay so, and specific companies interview question what they ask uh, uh, our um, our um, channel subscribers also uh, give us um, gave us this kind of question okay that we solve it and we post it in our channel okay the real time scenario based question you can see there are multiple playlist uh, in here okay you can go to all the playlists and if you don't know uh, PySpark and Databricks okay you can also learn it from this playlist there I have explained um, uh, almost all the necessary functions in PySpark okay you can go through it you, can, you will I can very much sure that you will get to learn after completing uh, the 63 videos you will uh, you are almost con confident in PySpark and database okay so please go through these videos okay and uh, and stay with us okay so let's go so in IBM question what they ask they ask write a PySpark query to find out the duplicate emails okay so it's a very simple question okay but they ask in their first round okay so let's see we'll solve it so they given us this kind of data set okay so here Virat's email is duplicate you can see so how to get this so first what we will do basically we need to filter it so first we will do uh, we'll import, uh, what we will do we will import uh, the function from .sql dot function we will import column because we will iterate the column we will work on the column so then in our df data frame first what we will do we will just we need to get the um, we need to get the um, count of the email ok we need to get the count of each and every email so then w w the logic will be what whatever emails count will be more than one that is the duplicate email okay that we will do so if for getting the e for each and every emails count if i want to get then we need to perform the group by operation on email okay so df dot group by then email then I will perform count uh, uh, okay we will perform count okay so um, we can store it from somewhere or you can directly show this data from For each and every email, I am getting the count. Okay. So now, what I can do? I can do. So now you are getting the uh, Virat's email is uh, count is two. Then it is a duplicate email. So now, um, just simple thing, we can filter the count basis. Okay. So filter um, um, the column count. 
where count is greater than 1 ok so now if I will run this query so it is giving me error count is not defined ok let's uh, count is not defined ok ok as it is a for we need to keep it within inverted commas ok so let's do ok now I am getting it Siemens and count so we are similar we are duplicating it so if I want to get only the email so just I need to select this is statement <coughs> and call only email I find okay so I think you have understood the concept okay in Pythop, we need to we have to do uh, this uh, we have to perform this method for getting the main data okay so if you want to perform the same thing in SQL so how we'll do so how we'll do so we will do um, it okay so before we, we will do we need to first implement one temporary view because as we have created it in a data frame so uh, in the data frame if we want to query uh, it in C SQL language then we need to create one temporary view if you don't know the temporary view why we are using it and how to create you can go to my Python database playlist okay there I have explained the temporary view function and all okay so I, I will also give you give it in the i button section uh, you can directly access it uh, the video link okay so da dot create uh, or replace same view okay then any name you can give your temporary view I am giving tp yes so tp temporary view has been created so now I can perform SQL operation on tp so select select email from tp okay so select email from tp so here um, uh, uh, i i need to use the um, nested queries okay so query uh, i need to so select email from tp then uh, where the count will be uh, where the email count will be greater than one so that thing we need to uh, get okay now what i'll do i'll select uh, select count star okay so next mail okay then from test okay then group by will use group by group by email okay okay this will the count star and the email from test uh, okay so it is in STP not okay. test. Okay, test. Uh, STP. I'm using TP as a temporary view. Okay. After that, we will perform group by, and after that, uh, what is our requirement? The email sh uh, count should have greater than one. So we can use uh, having stick. Having count star greater than 1 ok now if I run this 
so it is giving me syntax error let me check why it is giving me syntax error mm -hmm. so i'm getting this error so let's try to debug it so first uh, we'll try to execute this statement after that uh, only for selecting the email, email i am yeah, i am taking using this statement okay first we'll try to execute the main select statement where it is filtering the data okay so in next cell let's try to execute that i am getting the data on now yeah i'm getting the data so it is giving me the account uh, and uh, email id virat at abc.com now from here i need to select only the email okay so that's why i was using the um, nested query okay the select statement inner office select statement okay so so now how what i will do i will keep it in a in a bracket and after that i will query it one let me see where where i have done the mistake select email from from this okay now i'm done so what i have done is okay i have i have used from tp here i have used the tp so by mistake i have written it okay i can <coughs> remove it from here so this will be your main query or if you if you want you can use it use a ct common table expression also uh, in in your query first uh, using with statement you can create one temporary table and after that you can query it uh, that is called the ct okay you can use that if you know sql you can do that okay so so if you want to learn the common table expression uh, okay uh, you can also fo follow our channel because uh, we are uh, from next week onwards i think we will start uploading our sql videos but still i am showing it here also uh, for ct common table expression for creating a common common table expression uh, you need to use the with statement okay mm -hmm. using with you uh, you you can create any any temporary table okay for storing your uh, the preliminary data uh, using which we you will query okay so with statement after that just give one name whatever name you um, you want to okay that uh, i am giving my table name uh, count count view okay so after that um, i will use as then i'll uh, i'll put my whole query okay the query uh, which is sorting which is filtering my data okay okay now it is okay now finally i'll i will call my temporary table okay count this will also give me the same output okay this is called ct common table expression in in sql okay i think you have understood the concept okay if you have any kinds of doubt you can directly directly connect with me via linkedin or you can uh, you can join in our channel from telegram okay telegram channel or you can directly connect with me in, in my instagram or through topmate okay all the links has been given to the uh, description box there are no charges in topmate to connect with me okay if, if you need any suggestion you can connect with me or if you have any kinds of uh, uh, other approach okay you please ping ping in the video comment section so that i also can learn from you guys okay 
thank you for watching our video uh, if you like our video please do like share and subscribe our youtube channel cognitive coders okay you guys support is really much required to grow okay um, so we have already uploaded 97 videos please please go and watch and share with your friends who wants to learn data databricks and bicep um, or data engineering okay so, so thank you for watching our video and stay with us thank you bye